Welcome to Sore Mag's Writer's Cafe, where we share the real writer's life over a cup of friendship, sprinkled with laughter and wisdom. My name is LaShonda Hoffman. I'm your host. This episode sponsor is Virtual Tea with LaShonda Promotion Strategy Sessions. The po- today's podcast is about when fear is controlling you and you don't know it. Steps to dealing with fear. Last episode, we talked about warning signs of fear. This episode, we're talking about steps to dealing with with fear. I have seven steps I use for dealing with fear. And they don't have to really go in order, but you just can use them to help you. So my first one is prayer or meditation if you're not a religious person. Take time each day to pray or meditate. Sometimes you have to pray throughout the day. Prayer helps you conquer fear. Because like I told you, fear is something that's there. It's not going to go away. People can tell you you can conquer fear and it'll go away. But you deal with it daily. You deal with it monthly. You deal with it. And you have to have a way to fight it. And for me, prayer is one of them. When I know I just can't handle it anymore, I take it to God. Number two. Write your fear down. I told you that in the episode one. Write the fear down. Sometimes it's just in your head. Believe me, you can get in your head and stop some stuff. And so you want to um, take time to write those fears down. What is your main fear? I talk about fear a lot when I'm dealing with promotion because promotion fears are real. And a lot of people don't realize you got to have the right mindset when you're dealing with with your promotion because if you have this fear on you you will not promote and if you have this fear on you with writing you will not write you will stop you will you will get some people get writer's block because of the fear me I get let's sit on the couch and watch tv all day because of my fears and it has been a such an issue for years years I've been writing for years and I didn't even know I was dealing with the fears because I didn't recognize what my fear signs were. And so that's what I want you to do is to recognize what your fear signs are and research fear. That's why I started learning more about fear is because I researched it. I Googled it. Google is your friend. I Googled it. I tried to find out different ways how other people were dealing with fear because one of the things I learned, like I told you, is that it doesn't stop. You know, people like, oh, especially if you're a Christian, you shouldn't have fear. You should believe in God and this and that. And yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And still the fear is still there, you know. And so you want you want to research fear and find out different ways that can help you improve dealing with fear. Um, The next thing is to plan your day, plan your day. Um, I think I got more steps here than I said. (laughs) I didn't number these right. So uh, plan your day. Create a plan for your writing. Having a plan for your writing helps you conquer those fears. Today, you will write 500 words for the day. Um, I want to say that, um, you know, having writing goals for the week or something like that. I'm in a writer's group. And so on Mondays, we get online and we say what we're going to do. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. But I love being able to come back next Monday and say, yes, I rocked it this week. I did this, I did that. Versus, no, I sat on the couch and binged the uh, call the midwife. <laughs> so, you know, make a plan. Even if you don't tackle it, you got the next week to do it again, you know. But you want to start getting yourself in the process of writing and having a routine of writing and doing things. And here's one that really helps me a lot is do what, do what, I can't even talk. Do what you fear the most first. Do it first. So for me, sometimes if it's, if I don't have the fear of writing, I have the fear of completion. <laughs> letting it go and so some uh, so I haven't figured out how you can do that first but when I do I'm gonna teach you that one (laughs) but when I have I write down my fear list of things that I need to be working on that I need to do and then I pick the you know pick one and do the, the scariest one first so I can get it you know maybe it's asking somebody to do a review for me you know bam I send send that email out to them Knock out those projects that scare you to death first. You know, get them off the list so you can move on to the good stuff. Um, 
Believe in yourself and your writing. Man, I tell you that mindset is important. It's very important because how you speak inside your mind is how you get past your fears. Um, I'm going to be honest that I had a hard time with this because I, I was dealing with this fear and I was letting it control me instead of thinking positive. So when you see me posting these, work on your dreams, get out there, do different things, being positive. I'm talking to me. I'm talking to me. I'm trying to stay positive. I'm trying to know that I got this, you know, that it's important that what I want to do is important to the world. And I have something to share and someone needs to hear what I have to say. And I have to tell myself that a lot because sometimes, like as you, I told you, one of my fears is completion. I can't let go. And so I have to let myself know that I rock, you rock. What we got to share is important. We just got to finish it. You know, so I, that's, my, that's my word for this year. Finish. <laughs> finish. Um, number five, I talked about this uh, in the last episode, but it's still very important. Um don't compare your writing journey to someone else. Don't feel intimidated if you if somebody is selling books and you're not. This is their season. It might not be your season. It doesn't mean it's not going to happen. But don't drive yourself crazy comparing yourself to everybody. Enjoy your writing path. I had to a hard time that with that because my path has been such a bumpy journey. And I and I thought it was never going to happen to see a book with my name on it, you know. And sometimes I have to remind myself that I do have a book with my name on it, that I hit that finish line that I always wanted. So now I'm telling myself, well, I want a book with a fiction book with characters with my name on it. And so I know that I got to push myself even more to get to that point. And that's okay. I'm not comparing myself with anybody else anymore because I would drive myself crazy. My friends got 50 books. I got one. That's okay. Because I can move up to more, you know. But you have to stop comparing yourself to other people's journey. Enjoy your journey. Know your success is your success and no one else's. Have a friend who understands your fears and won't let you wallow in them. Having a friend to pull you out of your pity party will help you pass, move past your fears. Woo, yes. They keep you accountable for living your dream and not missing out on your blessings. Having an accountability partner truly helps you grow in your writing. It does. Having someone to brainstorm writing ideas is priceless. Don't do it alone. Find someone you trust and help you move past your fears. My writing group is probably one of my best accountability partners. They really helped me. They are why I published my book because they pushed me. They kept letting me know that somebody needed your book, LaShonda. Finish it. <laughs> um, I have a couple of accountability partners. They don't even know their accountability partners, but I always plug them. And I would say um, one of my co-worker, her name is Michelle Perry Williams. Michelle Perry Williams every day was coming in asking me about that book. What you doing? How's it going? What's, what chapter are you on? When is finished? I'm buying the first book. She always tells me that whenever I do something. Every book project that I've worked on, she has bought the first book. And if that don't motivate you, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> um, and I have I have a, a, a friend. Uh, my other friend is uh, Dr. Linda Bede. Um, man, she pushes me. She pushes me. She probably don't even know she pushes me. But when she calls me, a little flutter goes in my heart because I know I'm going to get some wisdom to mush, push me forward for this week. You know, and so Dr. Linda helps me so much. Um, she's, she's my uh, other accountability partner. And then I have one who is my inspirational accountability partner. You need one of them. One of those people who tells you, you rock LaShonda. You are the it. You are the bomb. You're going to be on the red carpet. And that's my friend, Ashley Sauls. I know God sent her to me because he always sends her to send me a message or a call or a voice message to say, LaShonda, I believe in you. I love you. I know that you are going to be amazing. You are a help to everyone in your community. Bam, you need one of those people. I'm telling you, you need one of those people. You need you actually in your life. If you don't have any, go find some, go make some, tell somebody to encourage you. Someone needs to push you forward to help you. Because sometimes I am the pusher. I push other people and I don't push LaShonda. So you need somebody to push you forward. Um, 
celebrate your accomplishments. If you write your first chapter, celebrate that. It's a big deal to start a book. When you complete the book, celebrate that. Sometimes we get so caught up in checking things off our to-do list that we forget to celebrate what we completed that is accomplished. I'm very guilty of that. I, I, I'm I so into this, 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 check this off, do this, do that, do that, that I, you know, forget to be excited about what I have. I have a book. I have a book with my name on it. It took me years to comp- to get that accomplishment. I'm not going to say to finish a book because I finished the books. I just don't, didn't think they was perfect. So that's my head. But I did it. And when I get into my little pity party, I have to remember, you know what? There's a book with your name on it in the library. That was one of my biggest accomplishments. I never wanted to be in the bookstores. I always wanted to be in the library. I wanted to go, because I was a library girl. I spent a lot of years in the library. That's where I got my books from. And I always said when I went to the chef, a chef, well, now a chef, but that when I was little, it was the sea chef, Caruth. I was going to be on this chef right here next to some amazing books. And now I'm on the eight chef for Hoffman. <laughs> and my book is there. It's there. And somebody can order it or somebody can say, can I get a copy? One of the kids at the school, I did a, a career fair. And he said, is your book in the library? Because I'm going to see if I can if I can order it. <laughs> and I just cheese. <laughs> because, yes, my book is in the library. Yes, baby. <laughs> so that was a, I had to celebrate that. I had to be excited about that. And I'm telling you, I still tear up. Whenever I go and do a search and I just, you know, I'm going to look up LaShonda Hoffman (laughs) and it's there. I'm there. I'm in the library, you know, and so celebrate your accomplishments because that's very important. Please remember fear doesn't stop because you move past it some days. I thought it did. And that's why I let it control me for years. Now I know we are going to fight every day. I'm going to kick you off my couch every day if I have to, because I know what I need to do to get past it. And I know that I can get past it. And I know that I have to believe in myself. And I have to believe that LaShonda is going to do this, that LaShonda is going to complete this. So when I get off this podcast, I'm going to go write some more stuff because I want a ton of books out there with my name on it. I want the children to go into the library and be able to get a couple of children books that say LaShonda C. Hoffman on them. But I can't do that if I'm letting fear sit on the couch with me. So I want to share a quote uh, I got from a, a new Periscope friend. His name is Jonathan Heston. He says, fear is excitement without breathing. Hmm. That's a good way to look at it. So this is the last of the little series on fear. If I come up with some more stuff, um, I will share with you more things about fear. And hopefully you'll move past it and get some stuff done too. And won't let it... keep you on the couch binge watching (laughs) oh so i would like to thank our sponsor for this episode virtual tea with lashonda promotion strategy sections check out the link in the show notes to order your promotion audit i want to thank you our listeners for taking time to listen to the podcast if you like this new session i'm doing on solo podcasting let me know um I have three requests for you to subscribe to the platform you're listening to so you don't miss an episode. Please write a review and let me know what you think of this episode. You can post it on the platform you're on or you can send it to me. I'll be happy to read it. Please share your podcast with your community because somebody out there you know is dealing with fear and they might need this podcast. If you have a topic you want us to discuss on the cafe or would like to sponsor an episode, send an email to onesormeg at gmail.com. This is LaShonda Hoffman, and I will see you on the next.